we recommend leaving the uh, the blank in the mold at least at least 12 hours, preferably 24 hours. And the reason we do that is if if you take it out too soon and it hasn't thoroughly dried, it will actually twist or start to straighten out on you, and it won't look like the mold anymore. Now this is the this is all five plies. We did all five plies on this. I know I showed you initially just the two plies, but um, as you get as you get better at it, you can do all five at once. Well, now here we have our uh, five ply blank, and we want to we want to trace the shape and the location for the holes. Now, in this particular case, I'm using an existing tech deck um, that works pretty well if you're happy with the width and the shape of a tech deck. If you want something different. Uh, you can all make yourself a template. I made a template out of that same uh, thickness aluminum that we used to cut out the veneer. You could do the same kind of thing here. Uh, you can indicate where the holes are and you can trace around the outside shape. But again, you know, if you don't have the ability or the patience to make uh, an aluminum template, then you can start out with the uh, with the tech deck. Depending on how uh, well aligned your plies are when it comes out of the mold, uh, you're more than likely going to have to uh, trim this down to the appropriate width. For instance, say you wanted to make a 30 millimeter board, 30 millimeter wide board. You'd have to sand it down. Now I would start out with an 80 grit sandpaper because it's pretty coarse and it'll cut pretty quickly. And then gradually uh, use a finer sandpaper until you get it down to the width you need. Now using your vernier calipers, as you're, as you're sanding your board down, you're going to want to measure as you go along to make sure that it's coming down to the appropriate width. You also have to measure from where you've indicated that the holes are going to be so that the holes are an equal distance from the side. You know, this is one part of the operation where you're going to have to be careful and you're going to have to measure as you go along. Now using a, uh, in this case we're using a 4 inch uh, disc sander. I'm not sure if you can, if these are available anymore. They have larger ones that are available. You could also use one of those. We're going to use the disc sander to trim the shape of the end of the uh, deck. After you've finished uh, uh, trimming it with the sander, you can refine your shape using a, uh, a file and some sandpaper just, just to refine it down to the final shape that you want. So at this point, your deck is pretty well shaped. And this particular deck came out to just about uh, 30 millimeters by This one's about 104 millimeters by 30 millimeters wide. Obviously, um, you you determine the size when you when you lay out the initial shape. Now, don't forget, we're very careful about making sure that the holes are the appropriate distance from the edge. And of course, you checked that as you were uh, as you were trimming the sides. Now that you have your uh, your fingerboard trimmed down to the size that you want, it's, it's time to drill our holes. Now we've already marked the holes, they're in the appropriate location. In order to make the drilling easier, I recommend that you actually take a scriber or anything with a sharp point, you could even use a nail, and put an indentation 
at the location of those pencil marks. So when you drill, the drill will follow that indentation and it won't and won't move on the board as, you as you're attempting to drill through it. Now using a 1 16th drill, uh, we're going to drill the holes for the truck screws. Using a, an eighth inch drill, we're going to have to do the uh, do the countersinks now. Now it's very important that you set the stop on the drill so that the when you're drilling down it doesn't go all the way through. You want to go through you want to go down just enough so that the heads of the screws are flush with the top of the uh, top of the deck. Now here we're using the uh, an eighth inch flat bottom drill to drill the uh, to countersink for the kingpins. Again, you have to set the stop on your drill press so that you only go down no more than one millimeter when you drill for the uh, for the kingpins. <laughs> Using small pieces of sandpaper, uh, you can round and break the edges. I would use a, uh, a coarser sandpaper to start, again maybe an 80 or 100 grit, and then finish it off with the with the 220 or 320 to get a nice, nice smooth rounded edge. Now the uh, the finish on your deck is is pretty much up to you. Uh, you can use a, a spray polyurethane or a spray lacquer or even a even a brush on lacquer or a brush on polyurethane. Uh, if I've left anything out of uh, out of this video or if you have any uh, questions feel free to email me through my website and uh, I'll be happy to get back to you.